503 on patrol, report to dispatch. 503 to dispatch, Detective Peter Bannard on duty. Hey Peter, what's your location? Usual patrol, what's going on? We got an anonymous 1021 domestic disturbance from 17 Lancaster in Westwood. If that's an issue, I can I can reassign this to someone else. Westwood. Is there anyone left? Just as surprised as you. Peter, listen. I can get another patrol. I'll be fine, Carson. I'll be fine. You got a registered owner on record? Affirmative, 503. Residence is registered to a Nathan and Jane Foster. Copy dispatch. I'm en route. Report back when you reach the premise, 503. Good luck, Peter. Over. <laughs> Don't worry about it, honey. Just finish work as soon as you can and come home. No, yes, we'll pick up the cake and the candles on our way back from the park. From the park. From the park. From the park. <laughs> Five oh three to dispatch. Front alley's blocked off. Some lights are on. The front door looks open. Copy. Any vehicle in contact? Negative. I'll let you know. Over. Guess it's time to go home. Westwood Police, is anybody here? 503 to dispatch. I think there's somebody in the house. Stand by. You gotta be kidding me.
Nathan and Jane Foster. Where are you? Dispatch. Car's missing. I'll keep looking. It's a big place. What are you hiding, Fosters?
There's a basement? Security feed. But where's the room? Found your basement. Huh. How about that? Hello? Anybody down there?
Allegra. How can these be new? Captain, I'm telling you, there's a connection between Allegra and this money trail. You're overanalyzing it, Peter. Just drop the conspiracy bullshit and do yourself a favor. Just focus on the things that matter. Wait, come on. Allegra Pharmaceuticals is into some dark shit and you know it! Dismiss Detective Bennett. Bennett, 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 Bennett. Bennett. This is getting worse by the minute. 503, this is dispatch. Everything all right, Peter? Give me a few minutes, Carson. I'll radio back. Over. Oh! 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 
You bastards. Orion? Impossible. Oh, fucking Orion! Captain, I need your approval on this. You, you sure? This is a legend. Half the town works for them. I wouldn't be asking you if I wasn't sure. All right, detective. I trust you. But be careful. This experience at the facility, how did that make you feel? <sighs> I've heard voices before, panic attacks. But the shadows, these were new? What happened? I thought I was losing my mind, struggling for air. Like I was living a nightmare. When it was gone, I was terrified that they'd come back. Did you have a plan in case they did? I was sure that Allegra took my family from me because of my investigation. So I thought that if I found real evidence, the truth about Allegra and Orion, then maybe, maybe the shadows would go away and I could make them pay.
Hello? Hey, honey. Sophie? I spent an hour looking for my brushes. Guess where they were? Behind the evidence box. I'm pretty sure you told me this would be gone from the house. Last week. I'm not even sure it's safe to keep this. Please make sure to get rid of all of this. Shit. Blacked out again. Okay. Just focus. Get the disc. Get out. It's full. You investigated Allegra for a long time. Did you expect to find something new? Uh, I was sure there was something I missed back then. And what did you find? I found something that no shadows or voices could have ever prepared me for. It took everything to remember that none of it was real. And I wanted it to be. Dad, this is Captain Allen. I need your super special task force idea to let you in. Uh, sure, buddy.
You're home so early. What happened? Is crime finally over? Not exactly. Hmm, well, until crime calls you back, check out my new painting. You never give me feedback anymore. Oh, and pick up your police stuff from the attic. I want it out by tomorrow. order. All officers need to light the fireplace and read stories to the captain. Will do, kid. <laughs> Dad, you said you'd light the fireplace before doing mom's painting stuff.
God damn it, there are files on that disk that prove I'm right! I don't care if it proves anything. You illegally obtained evidence, and that is not how we do things. Hand in your gun and badge. You're on leave until we've cleared this up. Okay, alright, look. I know that if we just looked on the disk, Project Orion would be confirmed illegal. Enough! Drop it! That's an order. Go home, take care of your family, and understand there is no Allegra case. Allegra. <gasps> Who's there?
Schmidt! That must have been terrifying. It was, at first. What do you mean? The fear was gone. It just became anger. Frustration. People feel frustrated when they want something, but can't have it. Did you expect to get your family back? Uh, I knew I couldn't get them back. I just wanted answers. <sighs> Station should have a working PC. turn on the generator.
Allegra? How can these be... new? Captain, I'm telling you, there's a connection between Allegra and this money trail. You're overanalyzing it, Peter. Just drop the conspiracy bullshit and do yourself a favor. Just focus on the things that matter. Wait, come on. Allegra Pharmaceuticals is into some dark shit and you know it! Dismiss Detective Bennett, Bennett, Bennett. You like watching? Watch me come for you.
Well, if you don't have anything to hide, Director, then you won't mind if I take some copies of your files. Detective Bennett, I must decline. We're happy to cooperate with Westwood's finest, but I can't let you disrupt our operation without a warrant. <laughs> don't need a warrant now, Director.
later. Oh, come on. What? The school called again. Alan is waiting by himself, you know? It was your turn today. This has been happening way too often. Why are you doing this to me? Please go pick him up. Then it's time for a serious discussion. Tell me about the incident in Allegra's offices. You say you felt angry. What came after? What did you feel? Uh, um, I felt guilt. Yeah, guilt. What do you feel guilty about? My choices? What led me here? Maybe things could have been different. Are you talking about Allegra? Or how you treated your family, Peter? Dad? Huh? Alan? Dad? Alan!
is going to be another meeting between the mayor and the director. The files they have on them will have the proof you want. But if I'm going to give you this information, you have to get me out of Westwood and away from Allegra.
Alan! Alan!
stay away from us. Helen, Sophie. Help us, Peter. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Stay away from us! That sounds like it was difficult. Were you trying to change the past, Peter? I know it's impossible now, but it felt real then. Reality is subjective. Everything we feel is filtered through our minds. And sometimes, if our minds are weighed down by something, reality is distorted. What was your mind really weighed down by? I felt weak, heavy. I wish I could have done more, but I knew then that I couldn't. Even something small might have made a difference, but I didn't. I was powerless. Something small like what? I wish I could have been there for Alan, for Sophie.
this anymore. I don't know if I can do this much longer. Alan was alone and crying again. He's with me at the gallery. Why are you even... I'm out. Why are you even trying? I'm out. Like you always do. I'm out. Running won't save you. Leave. Like you always do. Running won't save you. How did you pull yourself out of that? What changed? I wasn't out yet, but I had made a decision. Which was? Realizing whose fault this really was. The first step towards ending this. In my experience, the first step is the most important one.
Hello? Hello? I have a feeling I'm not alone here.
it's full. anymore if you find the time meet me at the park where we first met I hope you'll make it and I'm not holding my breath
Fallon's birthday today. Did you know that? I found myself alone, holding a cake in one hand, candles in the other. And Alan asking if Officer Dad was going to be at his birthday. I can't keep trying to hold this family together by myself. Peter. <laughs> Alan and I are leaving. <sighs> We're staying the night at the motel and leaving Westwood tomorrow. <sighs> we both love you, Peter. But we can't watch you waste your life chasing shadows anymore. did this. You have to make him pay. Finish the case, Peter. You're so close now. No, they're making a mistake. Orion is dangerous. They can't keep doing this. How many others need to suffer? No, they might still be alive. They never died, Peter. They never died. You have to save them from Allegra. So many families have Paid the price. You're making a mistake. Make the right choice. Mr. Bennett, I'm sorry to say that we haven't made any progress. These unresolved issues with your family have cemented your psychotic belief that their loss was more than the result of an accident. You ask yourself the right questions, but still cannot escape the mental prison of conspiracy and delusion that you've built to protect your own fragile sanity. Don't worry, Mr. Bennett. We'll tear down this prison together, no matter how many sessions it takes. What? What? You'll never get away with this. We'll see, Mr. Bennett. People will find out what you've done. Orion, the shadows, my family. I'll make sure of it. They're gonna find out what you've done. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay for everything. everything.
Leave this all behind you. You're making a mistake. Let go of the delusion. There is no conspiracy, Peter. They left because of you. They left because of you. Well, Peter, what I heard today sounds like real progress. Keep this up, and soon you won't need me to ask questions. You're starting to ask the right ones yourself. I'm done fighting shadows, Doctor. I'm leaving them. I'm leaving Westwood. I'm leaving it all behind. <laughs>